Hey guys, welcome back. Drip Coach here with Drip and Farm for Poverty, where we don't trust, we verify, and operate with integrity and transparency. Let's dive in. So we got an update from Mystify while I was uh, sailing the open seas, or <laughs> just cruising. I'm not the one actually sailing. Uh, just got back hanging out in Miami, got some property stuff to deal with out here, uh, but be here for a little while. And in the interim, we can check out this update from Mystify. So he was behind the scenes doing some building. Rethinking Bitcoin, new update to wager credits, adding a bit of fun. Why has no one told me about this with Michael Saylor on the front? The uh, king of Bitcoin. <laughs> um, but in this update, what we have is kind of a new DGEN way to um, interact with your credits. So first and foremost, before we go into that, I want to show an update on this wallet because um, it is already finished converting the credits from it. So remember, this is the low budget strategy wallet that I was showing on here. And this was the one that on May 2nd, 1954, 2024, I sent uh, $175. And that was when Bitcoin was at $59,000 had a $2 fee sent it over and as of right now i have gained in usd value 127 percent and in total credits 107 percent which makes sense because it was i think it was at the seven percent conversion or something like that when i initially did it and then i bought some credits that I showed here and um, they have all completed now they would have actually been done but i went ahead and already tested out this wager feature so you can see i wagered the minimum one dollar and i was i won uh four dollars back so that's what's being converted here but let's go into what that actually is so you can watch this video and it's tied to this medium article so we're gonna go over the article real quick and then show you what it is it's it's really simple it's not complicated at all but the genius behind it is that it's all about lowering the debt obligation of the system remember the name of the game in this is to stack sats or bitcoin and credits are a one-to-one -one conversion of bitcoin so these are not tokens these are not um other kind of brc or erc kind of tokens or assets it is bitcoin and the system based off of that debt obligation will convert these credits to bitcoin at a rate that is sustainable and the goal is to lower that rate so that eventually you get to maybe a one-to-one -one debt to out debt to obligation ratio and right now i don't know what it actually is but miss if i give some um, examples of what that looks like and kind of how the speed would play out. So first and foremost, he mentions up here that fees are a service, a component to the efficiency and sustainability of the platform. The system's ability to appropriately manage and reduce its credit obligations is also crucial to achieving long-term sustainability and growth. So that's what I was just explaining. Remember, you can't just have a bunch of um, credit obligations from say a bunch of people depositing and getting that five percent and then they're just waiting for that to come out and then run off with that credit because clearly that would be a ponzi if you had money coming in and then you're only paying the new investors with the old money but what he's created in here is like a fee system and now a gaming system which essentially allows you to kind of gamble with those credits which are free to you based off of your deposits or if you were buying them in the marketplace and then now the system can kind of lower that debt uh ratio based off of a 20 percent so we'll go into what that means so wager credits is a fun efficient and safe way for players to support the platform by wagering a small amount of credits in a randomized game of chance the game is designed to offer a fast pace low risk and high rewards opportunity for players to increase their credits Players can end the game with a click of a button and entry fee of just 0.000015 credits, which is about a dollar right now. Each game is broken up into rounds that consist of exactly five entries, and upon submission of the fifth entry, each round is executed and a winner is randomly selected. This offers each player a one in five chance of winning, which are exceptional odds because you win 80% of your credits. So you can wager $1 and win 0.06. That's exactly what I had, had happened to me. So... 
um, as of right now, it's just $1, but he mentioned in the video that as this gains some adoption that we can um, vote or he can look at reevaluating this to make it uh, more high risk, I guess, or higher credit obligations, which would definitely be something for people to get their DGEN itch on for sure, scratch that itch. <laughs> but right now I think this is a great uh, um, way to test this and see how it goes and see what people think about it. So first, each round is designed to execute immediately upon the submission of five separate entries. As such, a round can complete in a matter of seconds. And that's what happened to me when I actually saw the video and then I just went ahead and clicked in here to the wager and I was just like, oh, let me buy one. And then I was actually the fifth um, player and immediately it executed and I won. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So right now you can see that it is currently two entries and it will need three more and it just takes you back to the screen if you want to get more details. So let's continue, oh, not that. Each credit wagered entered as a similar benefit to buying credits in the marketplace. Just as buying credits in the marketplace increases your wallet's rate of conversion for a period of 24 hours, each round entered will likewise be added to the rate increases that your wallet is receiving for the marketplace purchases. So basically saying the when you're active within this wager system, then you're benefiting the conversion rate of your credits to BTC. Said next is the fact that your participation will always serve to lower the system's debt obligations, as well as talking about before, regardless of you win or lose. Because uh, remember that 20% of that is kind of being removed from the obligation. So five people bet that's five credits that would have to be paid out, but the system's taking one of those away. So 20% reduction in credits and right now that's only a dollar but you could see how that could easily have a major impact on the system and then there's no um uh, ponzinomics in there because you could think of this kind of as like um gambling everybody puts their money up and the house just takes a cut for support um hosting the actual game and making it fair or whatever the case may be so in this case 20% of that would go towards the house and the house just lowers that debt obligation. So if this got up to like, you know, $10, $100, you could see very quickly how that would start to make a dent in the wager. And it's still a, a one in five shot of you winning 80% um, of that pot, you know? So you wager right now a dollar, you win four, that's a 400% return. And imagine again, if that's $100 and you get $400 back, that's still a 400% return and that's in BTC. What if also during that time frame, BTC, you know, pumps a little bit. Now you've made even more back. Remember, this is all about stacking sats. So I think this is a really smart uh, kind of degen way for people to engage more with the system and help the system to sustain itself because Obviously, we still want it to remain attractive in regards to the deposits because you want people to continue depositing in the platform. And right now, maybe 5% on your deposit doesn't look that appealing, but the more that he can lower that debt obligation ratio, then that means this can be changed as well. Remember, this is a dynamic number and there is some secret sauce he mentioned that when uh, the debt to obligation ratio gets to 100%, meaning a one to one, as he mentions here. If the system has a balance of one BTC and obligations of 10 BTC, the ratio will be 10%. Balance to obligation. The higher the ratio, the faster the credits are converted. So if the balance is one BTC and the obligation decreases to five, the ratio will be 20%. So the end goal is a one to one, meaning there's a balance of one and it's owed one, obligation of one. That would be what we're all looking forward to seeing and Mystify has some kind of secret sauce up his sleeves for what that will do for all the participants in the ecosystem. So for now, the best thing he said you can do is basically do both. So you want to be participating in the marketplace and also kind of playing with the wager feature. And the way that I'm looking at that is the credits that you get. So let's just say if I were to make a deposit, those are free, that's free money right there um, that I would have gained, right? So 
I can take some of those credits and come over to the wager and wager them. And in the same way where I buy credits, I can actually wager some of those as well because those are being purchased and I'm getting free credits or discounted credits at the same time. So I could wager one of those as well. So say for example, let's uh, go to buy credits, see if I can find an even number here. So that's kind of perfect right there. So I'm getting $50 worth of credits or 0 0.0075 credits. And I'm going to purchase them for 0 0.0006. So that essentially gives me $10 free at the current price of Bitcoin right now, meaning I could play 10 rounds to try to even get more. And let's just say I won all 10 of those. That's not going to happen, but you could turn that 10 into 40 because remember it's 4X essentially of the bet. So that's a lot of benefits into the platform and kind of the sustainability side. So I think that's really, really cool. But let's go ahead and purchase some more credits because in here, I want to just evaluate this over a month. So like I said, right now, uh, the bulk of the gains is in the USD value because it was 59K, we'll call it 60. When I purchased it and right now, we're sitting at 66. But again, 107% in credits. So we are going to do a purchase and we're also going to... Um, look at doing some wager. So I want to go a little cheaper here. We're gonna update this to $20 and I wanna find something closer to the $10 range. Ah, oh, there's not a 10. So, oh, this would be, this would be 10, here we go. So we're gonna buy this one just because again, I wanted something like that. So I essentially I'm getting, you can see, um, it's gonna be roughly three dollars worth or two dollars worth of free credits from there so i'm going to play two rounds actually i can't play two rounds if if this round has not finished yet i said this one's going so i can buy this one. Oh, perfect this one should finish you saw that it said current entry is four and then i just purchased and didn't win that one yep so you see 236 is my that's not my wallet my wallet is 1693. So I didn't win that round, but I can play now again. And I don't think there's many people online right now. So now I am one of the total five entries. But again, this was the free $2 that I got for that discount. And if I happen to win one of this next one, then I got a 2X on my return because I would wager $2 and won four, right? So again, you can see how this could as this picks up speed, get to be um, kind of fun and quick engaging. So the speed of which, how fast the rounds complete really depends on how many people are participating, how many are active. So right now, I think uh, wallet wise that I tracked from my side is like 150, something like that. I can't remember exactly how many, it's less than 200 wallets um accounts that are on the ecosystem so as this gains more popularity more people are using it then we could see this kind of speed up and shouts out to mystify for creating stuff like this finding ways to gamify the the system itself so that people are participating more in adding sustainability to it as well so we'll keep our eyes and ears peeled for that next update and let me add this to my sheet so we got credits purchased on 5 slash 24 and we did 0. 0.0002 purchase discount was 18 percent and i paid 0. 0.00164 and credits gained even though i wagered them that is not correct my bad, today is the 18th. Why did I put 24? The hell am I thinking? All right, so I might have to keep track now with a, another tab or something for um, credits uh, wage, wager, basically the gamble side, because um, I didn't do that before, it's 18%. But anyway, that gives you at least a little update to see how things are going. And even purchasing those credits is still going to help increase this total. 
So remember, focus on stacking sats and having a long-term thesis. I was mentioning this to one of the guys in my telegram that they were upset because their BTC value in here, the USD value, I should say, is not, it didn't go up basically. It's gone down or stagnant or whatever. And that's again, because they're focusing on this. And also they were trying to use BTC as like a kind of a quick flip kind of thing. So if you do not have a four year time horizon for BTC, then I think you should not be wasting your time with it. Focus on the DGEN meme stuff because this is meant for you to accumulate long term and ride out at least an entire cycle before you get all up in arms about your current position. So essentially, like uh, I told my dad about BTC, I think in the last cycle and he got in right at the all time high. So that's kind of where we're at now. Granted, we've seen it pop a little higher already, but that's just kind of proof that you have to be willing to ride an entire cycle. So right now that'd be his 18 to two years of a bear market. And now it's just now starting to crawl back out. So evaluate it at the end of this next two years, end of 2025, and then determine whether or not you are in profits or not. If you can't do that, then don't waste your time trying to stack sats, be a degen and, you know, gamble for that 1%, 0.1% moon boy uh token to make you rich so i have changed my thesis and i'm all about just accumulating more and more bitcoin and looking at this as a long-term play as Ralph powell said this is the greatest opportunity we've been given don't fuck this up 130 percent uh apr over the last decade is good enough granted 13,000 percent sounds great but most likely you'll get wrecked chasing that so stick with this and you will be fine all right that's all i got smash that hbo special help brother out like subscribe comment down below until next time lift daily and achieve your impossible see ya want to pay your in real life bills with crypto how about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account spritz finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments they do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and web3 wallets Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.